Hello everyone, what is up and welcome. I am the OGG of Greg Osmond. Thank you for joining me today. Episode 17, World of Outlaws Dirt Racing. You missed the last episode where we captured the 305 Local Championship. You can go check that out in the top right, of, in the eye in the top right of the screen right now. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel so you can follow along with the rest of the series. And as always, the link tree link is in our video description as well as the eye at the top right of the screen to all of our great channel supporters and sponsors. Make sure you go support those who support us. Back at it here on this wonderful Monday afternoon. And it was a pretty unanimous vote on what we're going to race next. So... <clears throat> for those of you that may be just joining us or not familiar, we've we've raced the micro sprint for one season, finished tenth. So we have not captured championship there. Haven't run a midget yet. Haven't run the big block yet. We captured the title in the UMP modified and the 305 sprint car. Have not run the street stock yet. So the poll on the community page was: What do we race next? Do we go to the midget, the micro, the big block, street stock? Or do we go regional racing in the UMP Modified or the 305 Sprint Car? Like I said, it was pretty unanimous. We're going regional racing in the UMP Modified. So let's go ahead and get that selected here. We are at the regional level now. So let's make sure we've got our personnel selected for the UMP Modified. And there's our car there, as you can see. So we're going to make sure we capitalize everything here. Harold Fisher, we're going to reassign him to the modified for $600. Mechanic, we're going to reassign Mark Summerly for another $600. We're spending $1,800 to reassign these people. <clears throat> and for a crew chief, that's going to be Caitlin Hyland. Oh, boy. For another $600. Sorry, I don't know why I'm... this. Doing this stuff makes me want to yawn all the time. So, all right, we're going to go racing now with the UMP modified and <clears throat> 26 races for regulation. Man, that's a lot. Uh, 15 for half, 10 for third, and just license tracks would be 14. So, that's a lot of races. That's 13 episodes we deep we'd be on this if we just did two per video. Or we'd be at, what, eight episodes there. So, mm, I, I really like doing the full stuff, but you know what? Screw it. We're going full regulation on the UMP Mod 26 races. <clears throat> there is the car with the Jeff Fabiano sponsorship from our last, um, last contract race. You will see we don't currently have a sponsor, so I need to go edit the car. Uh, because we don't have any regional sponsors. Those are all local sponsors. So uh, I'm going to go edit the car, paint scheme, and the driver uniform. Uh, but up next, we've got Millstone Park and Fairbury up in this episode in the UMP mod at the regional level. You can see all the people we're going to be racing against there, the 60 other drivers. Oh, boy. Got some bigger names on tap here in the region at the regional level you can see there scroll 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 there we go all right so we're gonna get the car fixed up here so let's repair our tires to the next level or the repair our tires so we've got twenty two thousand dollars in the bank is there anything we can do from a um upgrade perspective Nothing engine-wise. Chassis, not going to be able to do that either. Suspension, nope. Tires, we could do tires to level three. And you know what? We're going to do that before we get started here. we got $9,919 to so spend some money there. Upgrade two and upgrade three as well. So our tires are now fully upgraded to the level three. I don't really know what that would do. Are we doping them or whatnot? But... We got $4,898 left. Like I said, we're going to go get the car edited, paint scheme fixed up, driver suit fixed up, and head to Millstone Park. All right, here we are at Millstone Park. Car looks a little different, don't you think? So, uh, went with numbers on the quarter panels instead of on the doors. 
and a little bit of a different design. Suits a little bit of a different design too, but it's going to be a little tougher here at the regional level, I think. We qualified ninth, uh, so we'll start third in heat race number one. Just like always, top five to the A main, top two to the qualified dash. Here we go. All right, here we go. Starting third here at Millstone Park, or as I like to call it, the Knoxville from Wish. Getting ready for the green flag. Green flag is out. We are racing. Ooh, looking to the inside of Michael Long. We're going to grab that qualified dash spot right away. I was thinking this would be a little... Okay, okay, maybe it is. Adam Stricker looking to the inside. Out up through turns three, four, and lap number one. He's going to grab it off the off of turn number four. Ooh, we got Alan Weiser looking to the inside as well. Michael Long going to get by as well as we get a little loosey-goosey through one and two. Now holding the fifth and final transfer spot down. We've lost two spots now from our starting position. Settle back in on the bottom side looking to the inside of Adam Stricker. No, nothing to do with two laps complete. 10 lap heat race here at Millstone Park in Iowa. The train tracks and the grain mill off the background, and they are the backstretch, and they are pulling away from me. Michael Ledford off to a healthy race lead right now. Adam Stricker, Michael Long, or Alan Weiser, I'm sorry, in front of me. We're going to look to the inside of Stricker. Through turns one and two, down on the bottom. Catfishing, not able to make it happen. Going to turns three and four. Looking to the bottom once again. Sliding up through the middle. Through three and four. Down the front straight away. No. Six laps to go. Going to keep it on the bottom as that's where I think we are fastest. No pressure from behind. Jeffrey Carter, James Walker. Nothing doing back there. Halfway home. Five complete. Five to go. Going to roll through the middle of turns one and two. Try to get a good run off turn number two. No, nothing doing. Stricker pulls away. Let's try and take it to the high side. Keep it off the wall. Use the apex. Drive down the track. Get a good run. No, still not able to close in. Going to go back to the bottom. Get a good run here through turns one and two. Stricker powers off a of turn number two, but we are right on him now. That was a good turns one and two for us, but he's just a little bit better through three and four. We're going to hang right with him because I don't want to finish fifth in this uh, heat race. Two laps to go. We'll be white flag next time. Or, I'm sorry. There's uh, three laps to go. Two, two to go this time. Bye. Stricker pulls back ahead by quite the margin. Two laps to go. We're going to pull ahead of or pull side by side with Stricker two, through turns one and two. Drag race down the back stretch into turn number three. He's going to have the event. See, we're better in one and two than him. He's better in three and four, which is where it counts. If I can get it, uh, do we throw the slider? Yes, we do. We're going to slide up in front of Stricker. He's going to try to pay it back. No, we're going to hold him off. Grab the fourth spot on the last lap. We're going to come home fourth in the heat race. Good race. Good race. We're going to start 13th in the A main. Ledford gets the race win. Michael Long second. They'll go to the qualified dash. Ellen Weiser, myself, and Adam Stricker to the A main. All right, it is A main time here at Millstone Park. We were not part of the qualified dash, unfortunately. Starting 13th here. Let's go. All right, ready to go racing here. A main action, Millstone Park in Iowa. Austin Holcomb starting eighth place after an eighth place run in the qualified dash. Devin Reynolds finished fourth in the B main. They'll roll from 24th. Tyler Nicely finished fourth in heat four. He'll start 16th. And there we are. We finished fourth in heat one. We will roll from the 13th position. Getting ready to go green flag racing here. Here we go. Green flag at Millstone Park. 13th position, 25 laps is the distance. Going to look to the inside, make a little bit of contact with Tyson Blood. No harm, no foul. We keep it straight and true. 
Looking to the inside down the back straightaway. Going to roll through the middle. No, Kyle Steffens gets to our inside. We're going to try to power through the middle. We're three wide off of four. Give him the spot. Roll back through the middle once again. Through turns one and two. Going to try to make something happen coming off the corner. We had a good run through the middle there. Need another tear off. Uh, going to go look to the top side now. Going to get a good run. Grab that 13th spot back from Kyle Steffens. Two laps completed at the line. We're still in the 13th position. Now dive into the bottom on Austin Holcomb. We're going to grab 12th from him. Looking to the inside. Oh, a little bit of contact with Lucas Lee there. Ooh, a little inadvertent contact. Track's a little loosey-goosey right now. We're going to try to look to the inside of Lee. Down the front straightaway. No, nothing happened. He drops down to the bottom side to cut off our momentum. We're going to try to look top side. And Austin Holcomb mounting a charge there on the top side as well. He's going to get bias for the 13th or 12th position as we've caught up with Lucas Lee. And Lee goes to the top side. Holcomb in the middle. We're three wide on the bottom. Lost a little bit of momentum there as we had to check up through the middle. Looking to the bottom on Holcomb once again. Try to grab the 12th spot back. I'd love to grab a top 10 in our first regional race here in the UMP Mod Dip 5. Looking at Alan Weiser. Alan Weiser lives not too far from me, about 20, 15, 20 minutes. We're going to keep it here on the bottom at the Knoxville from Wish, Millstone Park. Ooh, Weiser checks up, coming off of four. We're going to try to look to the inside, down the front straightaway. We've got the line, a little bit of contact. No harm, no foul. We keep it going. He's going to cross us over, get back to the bottom side, grab the 11th spot back. We're going to try to roll through the middle, get a good run off the corner, down to the bottom no, not able to pull side by side. We've got a good run down the front straightaway. We're going to dive it into turn number one and grab the 11th spot. Can we hold it? Hold on to it as Weiser mounts a charge down the back straightaway. Tries to do the same thing to us. We're going to slide up through three and four off of turn number four. Give us the spot. Drake Troutman now next on the list running in that 10th position. We are 11th at the moment. Ooh, messed up my entry there a little bit. This is a very dirty race. A little bit of contact there with Drake Troutman through turn three and four down the front straight away. 16 laps to go. Ooh, boy, this is a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Mess up coming off two. Oh, that's the wall. That's the wall. That's not good. Weiser gets by. Holcomb gets by. We're going to have a good run off of turn number four. Oh, through three and four. And got a little loosey-goosey there through four. We're going to dive it in low, come up, hit the cush, cushion, hit, hit, hit the cushion. I'm not hitting the cush right now. Uh, <laughs> and try to get by Weiser. We got back, back by Holcomb. There we go. Look at that power off the cushion. Down the front straight away. Give us 11th spot back. Halfway home next time by 12 laps down. Uh, I mean, it's kind of halfway, but you get the picture. Uh, Drake Troutman now out to about a second advantage on us. We're going to hit the cushion, drive it down. 13 laps remain. I'm wondering if I if I should try this top side, but we're not really gaining anything on Troutman at the moment. This bottom side has been where we were fat. We've been fast, but we've been getting good runs kind of running this diamond line. 12 laps complete. We're on the back half of this race now. Very odd, the uh, odd line that we're having to run here just to try to get some traction. 0.9 seconds now to Troutman, 0.6 at the line. And we have closed in on him quite a bit. And quite quickly, I might add. I'm going to let the car slide up, hit the cushion, drive down the track. 10 to go. We have caught him running this very unorthodox line. See if we can get by Drake Troutman here in these next few laps. We're going to stick it on the bottom here. I can still see his nose. Now he's gone. wonder if we've got the spot. No! Drag race down the front straightaway. He's still got it. We're going to stay here on the bottom. See if we can make it happen. On Drake Troutman here. No! Nothing doing. we got to go back to our weird line here, I think. Oh, we had a good run there through into turn number three off of four at the line i think he had it but we're gonna try to throw a slider here that was a long winded slider i might add so 
We'll uh, we'll grab the tenth spot at the back straight away. Yeah, they slow down quite a bit uh, coming off of four. So I think as long as we keep running our weird little diamond line here, uh, we we should be all right. Kyle Strickler now in front of us, about two seconds ahead. I don't think we're going to be able to catch him. We are going to have six laps to go at the line. Holcomb has gotten by Troutman, and he's the next one we've got to deal with behind us uh, by about half a second, or a little more than half a second. You can see him in the rear view at the top of the screen. We're going to nab the wall just a little bit, allow him to close in. Five laps to go. So we are approaching the back of the field. Holcomb is right there, though. we got to make no mistakes these last five laps. The last four and a half laps. No cautions this race either. Caution free, clean and green. I think if I can get some lap cars in between me and uh, Austin Holcomb, Drake Troutman. Oh, Troutman's gotten back by Holcomb for the 11th position. Oh man, he's right there too. I didn't even notice that on corner entry. But we're, we're going to look to the inside of Carter. Lap, I think that's Jeffrey Carter. Lap car there. We're going to grab the track position on him. So we're going to come around with three laps to go at the line this time by Devin Reynolds. Now going one lap down to us. Already a lap down to the leader. About to go two laps down to the leader. Two laps to go. Michael Ledford just took the white flag. And I'm doing everything I can to not go a lap down to old Mikey Ledford. See if we... Oh, there he is. Let Nope, nope. We're not going a lap down. We're not going a lap down. We're going to power through. All right, white flag is out. Ledford just finished the race. Travis, or one of the Vanden Tops is now right in front of us. And you'll notice on the leaderboard up there in the top left, Troutman and Holcomb are sliding back profusely. That is because Ledford got by both of them, put them a lap down before he got to the line. And we are going to come home 10th. That is a top 10 in our first regional race in the UMP mod. I'm definitely, definitely happy with that. We'll go look at our results. Ledford gets a win. Rick Conroyer in second. Michael Long in the third position. Michael Beasley fourth. And KC Burdett in the fifth position. All right, all done here at Millstone Park. We finished in the 10th position in the A main. That'll put us 10th position in the point standings as well as this is the first race. We'll leave Millstone Park with a cool 85-84 in our pockets, hit our skill points, objectives, and practice and qualifying in our race payout, leaving us with 2,263 skill points. Let's head back to the shop. Get ready for Fairberry. All right, back in the race shop. Home from Millstone Park. I think we just unlocked the national level as well. Okay, got some suspension and uh, chassis upgrades to make. So we did unlock the national series. New national tracks and new wingless 410 sprint car is available. Sweet. And there we go. Our path to becoming a legend. We've opened up the national level. 100,000 skill points gets us the World of Outlaws Tour. But like I said, we got some suspension and chassis upgrades to make, or not upgrades, uh, repairs to make on the UMP modified. Osmond's racing skills are undeniable. Greg Osmond's investment team are so excited. They are funding another team expansion. Are they now? Well, I'll take it. So 10th place there at Millstone Bark. We're going to head to Fairbury Speedway next. And there it is. We're going to go with the Pro Late model for that next team expansion because it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, so parts and repairs. Um, let's see what it's going to take to upgrade. We need 24,000. Yep, we do not have enough money for that. For uh, So 120 to get the uh, shocks and all that stuff. Pull bar, everything, or J bar, whatever it is on the modifieds. Get all that stuff repaired. Chassis, I don't really know what chassis stuff we'd be repairing, but um, all that's repaired. Engine doesn't really need it yet. Uh, tires are, are fine. So Fairberry's up next. It's a 40 lap main event, 12 5 to the winner. Let's go. All right, back here in the pit area at Fairberry Speedway. We qualified, blah, 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 blah. We qualified in the ninth position once again. So we'll roll P3 in Heat 1. Got our practice goal, got our sponsor. Er, Got our practice goal, got our qualifying goal. No sponsors yet, so no payouts for those except for skill points. 
10 lap heat race here starting p3 here we go all right just like always top two to the dash top five to the a main here we go green flag all right here we go got a good start there drive it off hard into turn number one we got zeke mckenzie in front of us kyle strickler on the pole we're going to hold on to the third position here on the first circuit here at fair Barry speedway we've got jacob marker michael long directly behind us we're going to try to go a little high on the entry slide up on the exit go third place still zeke mckenzie now starting to pull away from us kyle strickler ripping the lip up there or i guess uh to stay true to his nickname he is tickling that top side or the high side if you will zeke mckenzie though is reeling him in and we are out to lunch so to speak oh car got real tight right there oh boy that's not good all right we just need to settle in here stop trying to do too much we got uh, about half a second ish back to michael long in the fourth position if we hold on to third here, we will start ninth in the A main. Strickler has now dropped to the bottom side of the track. McKenzie to the top now. And Strickler has pulled away considerably on McKenzie. Four laps to go here at Fairbury Speedway. All right, we've pulled away from Michael Long by almost two seconds. About a second and a half right at the line running this bottom side of the famed Fairbury Speedway. McKenzie now drops back down to the bottom side of the circuit as we're going to have two laps remaining into back. Kyle Strickler ooh, off the wall there. Our race leader has started lapping people. He's put two cars currently a lap down. He's going to put a third as we're going to take the white flag this time by and we are solidly in the third position Going to come off of turn number four, get a little loosey-goosey, and come home in the third position. We'll start ninth in the A main. Strickler gets the win. Zeke McKenzie second. They'll go to the dash. Then ourselves in third. Michael Long at fourth. And Jacob Barker in fifth. Transferring to the A main. All right, no dash again this time, but it is A main time. We've got a little bit of a better starting spot. Going to start, what, three, four places further up than last race. We started 13th, now we're starting ninth, so we're well, well in the top 10 uh, so far. So here we go, 40 laps, Fairbury Speedway, let's go. Here we go, A main time, Fairbury Speedway. Kyle Strickler won the dash. He'll start on the pole. Mike Beasley finished fifth in the qualified dash. He'll start fifth. And then we've got Devin Reynolds starting 22nd, I think it was. Finished third in the B main. I think it said 23rd. All right, here we go. We're starting ninth after our third place run in heat race number one. Here we go, A main time. Green flag is out. We are racing. Fairbury Speedway. Going to dive it off hard into turn number one. Get right beside Drake Drama. Not able to make the pass. Back into turn number three. We're going to drive it in hard once again. Look to the inside of... Tra oh, big contact up in front of us. The Destroyer, Rick Conoyer. Gets all wibbly wobbly bibbly bobbly. We're going to capitalize. Go from ninth to fifth. And now to fourth in two laps. Yes, sir. P4 is where we are. Oh, wow. Lots of drama to start off. Local boy Mikey Ledford looking to get by Strickler as we get real loosey-goosey coming off of turn number four. Ledford and Strickler side-by-side -side through turns number one and two for the race lead. Drag race down the back stretch three and four. No, Strickler holds the lead on that top side. Ledford fights down catfishing on that bottom lane. We've got to look behind us, though. We've got Rick Conoyer, Mike Beasley, or Zeke McKenzie, my apologies there, bearing down on us here shortly. But no, nothing real close. We're going to hold on to fourth at the line. No 
issues at all. We're going to get tight through turns one and two. Beasley has now dropped to the bottom side. Ledford to the top for second and third. We're going to try something new. Not really be able to make it work. And Rick Conoyer is now breathing down our neck for the fourth position. We're going to miss the entry to three a little bit there. Conoyer is going to try to go low. We're going to tap the wall just a little bit. No, we're going to hold the spot. 33 laps to go. Oh, man, a little bad exit off of turn number two there. Car's getting real loose. Oh, messed up real bad there. Conoyer not really able to capitalize, though. He is right on our tail. Oh, boy, this is a good race right now. Beasley still in the third position. Ledford still in second. Kyle Strickler still holds the race lead as Zeke McKenzie has now caught Rick Conoyer. And third, fourth, or fourth, fifth, and sixth are the hotly contested positions at the moment. Man, I, I, I know you saw the slider. I had it all the way on tight, and this car is still really loose, so... Might have to start getting into some custom setups with this car if I can't figure it out here. But we're starting to get into the back of the pack. And as I say that, the car was real tight right there. So I think uh, if I can get some cars between myself and uh, Conoyer and McKenzie, that is certainly not going to hurt uh, our chances of finishing here in the fourth position and grabbing our first top five at the regional level. Oh, boy. They ended top there. Very slow off of turn number four. We're going to look to the inside car. Got real loose there. Okay. Okay. We're going to hold her steady here. Look to the inside of Tyson. Blood down the back straight away. No, he's going to power off of turn number two. We we're trying to put him one lap down. Well, I mean, he's already a lap down, but a lap down to us. 25 laps to go. We're not even halfway home in this one, ladies and gentlemen. I think the car keeps getting loose because I get on that little embankment uh and that's that's what's oh, causing the looseness so if i can stay off of that i think i'd be in a lot better shape but conoyer is back on our tail seat right there i stayed off of it and uh, that's inopportune i stayed off of it and the car wasn't as loose so lucas lee allen weiser now directly in front of us running in 19th and 18th respectively very uncharacteristic for them we're gonna get real loose coming off of four make a real unorthodox entry into turn number one but he'll be able to hold on to the fourth spot as Conoyer is right on our tail Bollinger running in the 17th position is a lap down as well oh man this is a I gotta stop getting up there man it's just kind of halfway home and if I'm not careful I might go a lap down and I'm in the fourth position all right, going to look to the inside of Bollinger. God, I got to stop getting up there. I've told myself that how many times, and I keep doing it. So, going to get by Bollinger, going to get by Krupp. Conoyer not able to capitalize. Oh, I saw a spinner. Spinner dinner doo behind us. I think that was Will Krupp that went spinning. All right. Got to come around here for the restart. All right, see if we can make anything happen here. Fourth position. Conoyer's going to get to our inside. See if we can make anything happen on this middle groove. As Ledford goes high, we're going to go middle, and we're going to get by Ledford and Conoyer and put us on the podium. Hot darn. Look at that. Mike Beasley in the second position now as Ledford tries to power back on the bottom side he shoves us up into Beasley we're gonna have damage now we've got damage we've got damage we're gonna fall back to the sixth position as we've got what 14 to go at the line Conoyer in front of us and who is that Drake Troutman holds the fifth position we oh and we're gonna get into Troutman not quite or kind of spin him out but oh my goodness this is not good we're not making any friends here tonight at the old Fair Bear Speedway. Zeke McKenzie holds down fifth position now. Also, Holcomb gets by us for sixth. And things are falling apart for us, but we're going to get back into the sixth position on the top side nonetheless. Oh, going to get into the wall just a little bit off of turn number two. We're going to need another caution if we want to try to get back into the top five. We lost two spots in all of that. Zeke McKenzie in fifth right in front of us, as you can see. 
We're going to still try to make this bottom side work because I think that damage has tightened the car up, uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but we've only got 10 laps to try to make it happen. Jordan Weaver is behind us about half a second. Drake Troutman behind at him. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh darn it. We're just going to keep it up here and see if we can make anything happen. Yeah, see, I need to be on the bottom. There's Weaver. We're going to rip the lip just for that corner, and Weaver gets by us. We're going to try to cross him over. A little bit of contact. Oh, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Something happened there. I don't know what it was, but Troutman's going to get by us as well, so we're going to fall back to the eighth position now. This is not looking good for us. Uh, we've literally fallen apart here the latter stages of this race. Car has definitely oh boy we've uh put it through its paces to say the least so um not my best showing at all got the walk and there's austin holcomb now getting by us for eighth oh this is not good oh but holcomb is going to get into troutman and spin them both out oh boy all right we're going to restart in the seventh position with like four laps remaining something like that so Nine cars on the lead lap. We are in seventh. We can't finish any worse than ninth. So here we go. Green flag is back out. Let's rip a tear off. Restarting on the bottom is certainly going to help as well. We have two to go at the line. We'll look to the inside of Weaver now. Give a sixth. Two laps to go. We're going to slide up through one and two, though. Open up that bottom line. Nobody able to capitalize. Oh, Beasley and Ledford get into it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, nowhere to go. Literally nowhere to go. So, green-white checkered here. Strickler with the lead. Conor second. McKenzie third. All right, here we go. We've got green-white checkered. Two laps to go. We're going to drop down. Cut off anybody that was even trying to get there. Oh, boy. Got real loosey-goosey right there. See if we can maybe luck our way into a top five but not until we grab an infield tractor tire and really screw ourselves right there last lap here we're not going to be able to finish anywhere better than we started because i just screwed the pooch there and we're going to come home in the ninth position another top 10 but definitely one that got away from us not from a win perspective, but from a better finish than that. Strickler gets the win. McKenzie second. Connolly third. Holcomb and Ledford can round out the top five. All right. After that one, you can just call me Lemony Stick It because that was just a series of unfortunate events. But we finished in the ninth position and dropped a spot in the point standings at the same time, two points behind Lucas Lee and Drake Troutman. Conoyer has the points lead over Ledford by five points. We're going to leave Fairbury Speedway with a cool $8,946 and a total of $2,311. I can't do math. Because 400 is more than 200. All right, 2,311 skill points from Fairbury. We got a got a lot of repairs to do on this one, I think. Okay, back in the pit area, or not pit area, back at the shop after Fairbury. And yeah, like I said, harsh driving, that's not surprising at all. That was terrible in the terms of Charles Barkley. Eldora is up next. Awfully early for us to go to Eldora in this mo or season we've got twenty two thousand one hundred seventy two dollars seventy four dollars in the bank not enough to get the level two or level three suspension so we're going to repair our tires we're going to repair our suspension and then we're going to repair the engine twenty one four ninety six is what we have left eldora is the next race on the schedule but you guys will have to wait until tomorrow to see that because that is going to do it for us here today episode 17 world of outlaws dirt racing i am the og geo greg osmond thank you all so much for watching and we'll catch you next time